Welcome back to Eyes Open Media and welcome to Wall Street News and welcome to World News. And we're also going to check out a stock and dissect a stock called uh, Biotech iShares, okay? And it's on the NASDAQ. Stock symbols IBB, okay? So uh, for those who uh, have their computers out and um, can uh, pull up the chart and go ahead. So when we get to it, you'll be able to follow it on the daily chart and the weekly. And we're going to see if it's a buy or sell on the charts, okay? So let's get to the markets. Now, today, the Dow Jones hit almost, uh, it was down almost 500 points, okay? And it recovered a little bit, but it was still down triple digits, okay? So the Dow Jones has been awful this start of the year. This is probably the worst start ever, okay, for the, for the stock market, just down, 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 okay, even the NASDAQ as well, and that made a nice rally, but it's still closed down for the day, um, okay, so the Dow Jones was down um, minus 249 points, uh, and um, let's see, 249.28, which is um, minus 1.6%, okay, so it closed at 15,766, um, and that is, uh, yeah, that is that is below the sixteen thousand, and uh, so we don't know where this thing is gonna go. It could it could actually go to thirteen thousand and then bounce from there. I have no clue. Um, I don't think anybody knows because it's it's all fake money. So how, how do we know? You know, if they're gonna continue to pump it or they're gonna continue to dump it? We don't know. Okay. Um, let's see here. The Nasdaq was down uh, minus five point uh, two six four, which is negative zero point one two. Uh, percent, which is uh, four thousand four hundred and seventy one point six eight six. Okay, so the Nasdaq's been down to this year as well. Oil prices continue. I mean, it almost touched twenty seven dollars a barrel today. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so let's see here. It's at twenty eight point thirty three dollars a barrel, which was negative one point one, uh, negative three point seven four percent. Wow. Unbelievable. Gold was, was exploded today because everything else was down. So the safe haven is always gold and silver. And uh, so gold is at a, a 1,101. Uh, okay. And that was uh, up 13.7 points and 1.26%. Right? Uh, Euro, it was up on the dollar today, it looks like. Um, Actually, it was up on the dollar day, and then it started to decline. I don't, I don't know the real price because it says NA on there. Okay, so anyways, um, let's see here. Anything anything new on the news? Um, let's see. Uh, postals, uh, postal Saving Bank of China seeks banks to uh, underwrite $10 billion IPO. Oh, wow. Big U.S. banks uh, look to cut losses or cut costs. Uh, either way, they're looking to cut a lot of things. How about that? Um, so, yeah, so let's move on to the world news and, I mean, world uh, stock markets. And let's see what's going on around the world. Okay, Nikkei was down minus 3.71%, and this is Asian markets. Uh, Hang Seng was down minus 3.97%, and uh, Shanghai Composite was down minus 1.04%. Uh, Let's see, Europe was all down as well. Uh, FTSE, FTSE was down, 100 was down uh, minus 3.46%. The DAC was down minus 2.82%. And the CAC 40 was down minus 3.45%. Uh, let's see here, Americans, uh, S&P 500 was down uh, minus 1.17. The Mexican Bozo was up uh, 0 0.09, and Brazil was down uh, minus 1.08. I don't think a lot of these countries' stock markets have been absolutely down all year, okay? Um, Chile was down as well. Canada was down as well. It, it seems like this is a trend that's been that's been going on since the beginning of the year. I, I'm not sure how many green days we've had in the, in the first 20 years. I mean, for, toward the first 20 days of 2016, but it's probably been like three, okay? And that's pretty bad. Uh, maybe three or four. Okay, so let's see the remaining time we have here. I'm going to try to make this video in 10 minutes. So let's look at...
um, let's dissect uh, IBB, okay? So hopefully you guys have your charts up, and you should be looking at the daily charts right now. IBB is uh, Biotech iShares, and it's on NASDAQ. It opened at 271.48 uh, shares, uh, and um, it, the high was 289.73. The low was 268.52. Uh, the close was uh, 285.49. The volume was uh, 4.5 million. The change was plus 7.65 uh, or plus 2.75%. Uh, okay? So let's see what we're looking at here on the chart. Okay, so the RSI 14 is at 35.16, so you can already tell that it's going down. Uh, and the, the stock, the chart should be going down, okay, since it's that low. Because remember, 50 is the normal. Anything above 50, the chart usually going up. Anything below, the chart usually going down. But the good sign is, is that it looks like it's recovering, okay? It looks like it's recovering. It's at 35. It was just at 30, so now it's at 35, so it's going back up the positive way, okay? Um, let's see here. Before I get to the chart, let's look at the uh, MACD, the Mac Daddy. Uh, the bars are down below zero, okay? And the red line is at minus 8.851. The black line is at minus uh, 12.983, okay? So that tells you that... Uh, it's it's a lot of selling going on right now, okay? And it's been that way since beginning of 2016, okay? So let's add the SAR and see where, if the, if the chart is a buy or sell on the SAR. Okay, so the, uh, the SAR is in and the SAR is a sell right now, okay? So it's been in a sell for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, about 12 days, okay, on the daily charts, all right, so, and the SAR is at, uh, what is this, where is the SAR at, oh, then hold up, this is a, why they changed the, um, this is a wrong, I'm looking at the wrong chart, I hit update and they changed it, okay, so let's go back to the right chart, okay, well, it's almost the same thing, the SAR is, uh, uh, it's a sell, and it's about 12 days, okay? Wow, interesting. Um, I, I, it went to a completely different um, stock, and, and uh, it was the exact same SAR, uh, just different numbers. Uh, absolutely crazy. Um, okay, so we're back on biotech. And um, let's see, so the SAR is at 303.17, uh, okay? So let's see what so the SAR is. So the chart is a sell on the SAR, but that doesn't mean it's a sell overall. We're going to look at the overall chart and see if it's a sell. Um, let's see. Um, the 50 day moving average is at uh, 324.14, which is uh, resistance. And the 200 day moving average is at 345.29. And that is also resistance. Okay? So it's got two resistance on it. Okay? Um, well, these major resistance, they got other resistance with the, with the charts, and, you know, with the bars itself. Um, let's see here. So let's go to the weekly charts and let's compare what's going on in the weekly charts here. Uh, I hope it doesn't bring me to another stock. Okay, it's still on biotech. All right, so let's look at the weekly charts. The weekly charts, the 50-day moving average is at 344.07, which is uh, resistance. And... But this time, the 200 moving day is at 237.03, which is support, okay? Um, it looks like the, you know, from since August 2013 till now, it was been, it's been riding on, on the weekly charts, it's been riding on the 50-day moving average. And now it's trading below the 50-day moving average. So this is, this is cause for concern here because it's been trading above the 50-day moving average for two years, okay? Now it's not, okay? So something is wrong. Some, some data came out and something is wrong because now it's not trading above the, uh, and it can't get above the 50. It's tried. It looks like it's tried once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about almost eight times to trade above the 50-day moving average and it had and it's failed okay 
So uh, on the weekly charts, it looks it looks bad, okay, because uh, it it can't get, it can't break above the the fifty day moving average, which is at three four four point zero seven on the weekly charts. And now it looks like it's coming down to to the uh, two hundred day moving average, uh, especially as the market continues to tank. Um, we, we, it could definitely hit a uh, two thirty seven uh, point zero three. Okay, and that's on the weekly. So let's go back to the daily because the daily is what we really determine. Um, for at least for me, I determine uh, buys and sells on the daily or we or, or the daily chart, not the weekly. Um, so let me go back. If I can, there. Computer's acting crazy today. It's been acting crazy the last couple of days, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, so it's it's ten minutes into it. So let's let's talk here. Okay, so the R the RSI is up, and they had a bit, and they were actually up today. Okay, so that's a good sign that that the bottom might have been in at around two seventy. And uh, and then the and the bulls started to come in. Okay, now if it if it goes and if it uh and the market was down today and the stock was up, so you know they're defying the odds. Now if it can go up and touch and, and that that SAR at three hundred three and change it to a buy, uh, you know the SAR to a buy, then this is good. Either way, it still has a heavy resistance at the at the two hundred moving day and at the fifty day moving average. Okay, uh, the fifty day is is a, a lot lower than the um. 200 sitting, the 200 sitting at 345, the 50 days at 324. So, in my opinion, looking at at this chart, it's been down since 2016 until today, uh, and so it looks like it hit bottom at about 269. Okay, uh, okay, 268 was a low today. I think that might could have been the bottom, and let's see because tomorrow probably we'll have another green day. It could even tap this uh, SAR at 303. So, uh, the SAR is a sell right now, but the chart, in my opinion, looks like it hit bottom and it looks like it's a buy. Okay, so the, and the RSI is also coming up, so that's a good sign. The bars are coming up to zero as well, so those are good signs right there that you want to see. Uh, if the, if the stock has hit bottom, okay. So, in my opinion, IBB uh, Biotech iShare on Nasdaq is a buy. Okay, um, ride the momentum here from the from a nice green day, uh, and about of two point seven five percent, and see if you can get it up to at least the SAR at three hundred three, um, and then maybe you can test the fifty day at three twenty four. Okay. So there you have it, and, and if you if it, if it can test the 324, you need to break it so you can get up there and test the 345 at, uh, of the uh, 200 moving day, okay? So the chart is a buy, the SAR is a sell, but the overall chart is a buy, and the market is a sell, okay? So the market is a sell, the, the chart is a buy, okay, for IBB. All right, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching and watching. Thank you guys for listening. And uh, that is World News. That is um, Wall Street News. And that is an uh, in-depth look at the chart of IBB, which is Biotech iShare on NASDAQ. And the chart is a buy. All right, so also um, I need to look at uh, Netflix because, remember, I, I did say that the chart was a buy. And I haven't, and it was up 10% after hours or something like that. And I haven't checked it since. So, matter of fact, um, I, don't, I don't even know the, the, the symbol. I don't know if any, and no one else, nobody else uh, um, checked it as well. Uh, let me see if I can find it next. Next flex. <laughs> I, I don't think I ain't gonna be able to find it on here because I don't know that I don't know the symbol. Okay, so I, I, I'll look at it later. Currency three sixty five and powered by Eyes Open Media. I am out. Eyes open.